Hello sir, how are you doing today? Oh hi, how are you? We are from DLC, and we are here to ask you some questions? Sure. Describe yourself in one sentence. Uh, committed. Describe your professional self in a hashtag. Always up for challenges. Which city you grew up in? I grew up in Hyderabad, born and brought up here. How would you describe your occupation? Very exciting and a uh, lot of new things and a lot of challenges almost on a daily basis. What is the best part about it? Uh, automobiles. I mean, I love automobiles and my entire business revolves around automobiles. So that's a very, very exciting uh, field to be in. What is that niche segment in automobile you're dealing with? Uh, currently, I have started something with, uh, we are into the EVs, which is going to be the future of uh, automobile industry. It is probably what happened 100 years back in automobiles is going to happen today again, with almost a complete shift soon happening to EVs. So a lot of excitement happening around that today. What according to you is your biggest achievement till date? Uh, biggest achievement is we have always taken something new, something nascent that is not known and we have created something very big out of it. And that's what we have again and again done and probably will do it again. How has the Gen Next embracing the EV culture? Uh, in fact, Gen Next is the reason I think why EVs uh, adoption will happen much faster because they are very excited about it. They love the environment. They know what EVs can do, both in terms of money, uh, becoming a cheaper mode of transport, and helping the environment tremendously. The most popular e-bike you recommend right now? Right now, I would recommend, uh, actually, almost all bikes are similar. The e-motorcycle uh, industry, the Hayasa's BJ2000, is a very, very exciting product that we're looking at. Uh, ADMS Boxer is, again, another uh, motorcycle. Then we have a lot of products from Hayasa and EV Minda that are doing extremely well. Three things you don't leave your home without. Uh, my mobile phone, my wallet, and my watch. Three things that are non-negotiable to you. I don't like people who are lazy. I don't like people who lie. And I don't like people who do not keep their commitments. One habit that you want to get rid of. Uh, procrastinating. One secret skill you have. I love to read people, so I read people a lot. The last book you have read. Uh, Eternal Validity of the Soul. The current Netflix series you're addicted to? Uh, right now I'm watching Fauda. Best car racing event across the world or in India? Formula One, undoubtedly. A hobby you want to pick up? I want to learn the violin. It's been on my bucket list for a very long time. What is your comfort food? Kebabs, anytime. Your next travel destination on the card? I want to go to Egypt. If you could have superpower, what would it be? Knowing the future. Your favorite country to live apart from India? Probably Dubai. The best life lesson you have learned from your parents? No matter what, always ask, talk about whatever. Talking will always give solutions. Your mantra to maintain a work-life balance? When I reach home, I leave my work. I do not talk about what happened. What is your fitness goal? Fitness goal is to lose about 10 kgs, which surprisingly is not happening. I don't know when it will happen, but definitely it's something that I have to start working towards very, very fast. What is your morning fitness ritual? I've just started gym after a very long time, and it's just been about a week. I hope I will be able to uh, keep up the schedule. One diet rule you try to stick to? Diet rule, uh, I do intermittent fasting quite a bit and been doing it for almost a year and a half now. Your cheat day meal? Sweets. I have a very, I mean, have a big sweet tooth. One environmental because you are really concerned about? Climate change. I think climate change is going to be very, very crucial for the survival of humankind. What is that one positive change EV culture will bring to the environment? One, the dependence on fossil fuels will come down drastically. And uh, in terms of even costing and running and pollution, I think it's going to take three big, big uh, changes to the environment. Are you working on or plan to work on any social concern? Yes, I am associated with quite a few uh, NGOs, uh, including uh, Heal a Child, which is very close to my heart too, where you know we do a lot of stuff for children. Plus, we do a couple of NGOs I work with, do a lot for women upliftment. One humanitarian because you want to take up in your professional capacity? Trying to see how we can get these uh, people from the street and give them some proper vocation and try to give them a job. When did you realize that you wanted to pursue this career? Uh, when I was just finishing my MBA, uh, my dad was already into automobile line and we got an opportunity to start a car dealership. 
and it really excited me and that's how my journey began. Which was your first breakthrough project? My first breakthrough project was taking up the dealership for Hyundai. What is your most recent project? My most recent project is uh, this dealership of Baiku that we have started this concept. What has been the three biggest high points in your career so far? The top three points obviously is first was establishing Hyundai as a brand in Hyderabad, uh, in India, taking it forward. Second has been, uh, you know, going out of my comfort zone and we started a dealership in Pune, which I single-handedly took from just being one office to eight outlets in a matter of about five to six years. And now the third has been setting up of this Baiku, which started as a concept three months back and today it's become reality. What is your business mantra? My business mantra is no matter what you do, give your 100% and have a very clear path. Once the path is clear, you will find the way. Who has been your key inspirations in this field? My key inspiration has been my dad, uh, who's been a veteran in the automobile industry. What are the three qualities one needs to excel in this business? See, you need to have passion about automobiles. That's very important. Second, a desire to make money. And third, the passion to sell, because ultimately you have to sell the product. Three things you want to achieve in the next five years. Next five years, I want to make sure that Baiku becomes a national brand, have over 2,000 showrooms uh, across the city, and create a legacy business that every dealer of mine will leave this as a legacy business for the next couple of generations. Biggest challenge when starting off in this field? Biggest challenge is no, most of the brands that we are dealing with are, are relatively unknown brands, except a very few ones. People are still scared of the technology, Technology is still evolving, battery is still evolving. There have been some incidents in the market where some of the bikes caught fire. So, you know, those are definitely external challenges that are not in our control, but still will affect our business in a great extent. Best learning from failure? Once you have the concept right, there would be some small hiccups, but you should not, as long as you are continuing on your journey, things will just become smoother after some time. What inspired you to join the Della Leaders Club? Actually, Della has been a very exciting uh, club and uh, the kind of profile of people that they have have been very exciting. They are people from various fields. Very, uh, you know, you get to meet people from across the country. You get to exchange a lot of experiences, your thoughts. So I think it's, you know, it's going to be a lot of learning and fun at the same time. Define Jimmy Mystery in one word? A visionary. What according to you makes DLC a unique organization? I think the amount of people, the varied fields from where it has people, uh, the cross-cultural people and the cross-working uh, of all different industries, I think really makes it very, very unique. A message that you would like to give to our viewers? Well, I think uh, Della is an amazing uh, platform where a lot of learning, a lot of interaction, a lot of uh, journeys can happen together. Believe me, you cannot grow without learning. Every day is a learning experience. Thank you so much for your time, sir. It was a pleasure talking to you. The pleasure was mine. Uh, always been a pleasure to be part of this uh, club and I would love to have more opportunities to share my views and uh, stuff with you. Thank you very much.